Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, live with Louis Lecca. We are here talking about this main story. We got two we're going to go through with you. J-Lo is just enemy number one on TikTok, right, Louis? They are just woo, hating her like crazy, and it's nonstop. We're going to talk about it some more. Before we get there with this J-Lo hating train, Justin Bieber is all in the news, and everyone's losing their mind because he had a big smooch with his pal, Jaden Smith, as the bros caught up at Coachella. Now, let me just throw out the gate, Lewis, before I, we even get your commentary or anything else. I don't care who kisses who. This is not a report to condemn or criticize or judge. I may be a little shocked. Didn't expect it. Doesn't mean we're homophobes. Doesn't mean that uh, Out Magazine is trying to claim that everyone's mad. I, well, yeah, I mean, if someone's really being mad, then sure. But yeah, I think this is a interesting thing because he's in a relationship married to Haley Bieber. And uh, I don't know. I didn't see him. So I, I assume this was like a nothing burger, if I got to be honest. But let's watch the clip. Let's watch the clip. Here we go. What do you guys think of this? I love Justin Bieber. That's just a fact. Well, talk about brotherly love. Talk about brotherly love. You couldn't miss this moment on your feeds. Justin Bieber giving pal Jaden Smith a kiss on the cheek at Coachella. More than a kiss. Look at this little solo dance. I'm having that that guy in the pink shirt did not give the same kind of kiss. <laughs> he's like, what's up? <laughs> I don't know. But he's like, hey, what's up? Bieber, though, really planted a, uh, a a nice solid kiss on him. And I'm not mad at him. Here, let's get a little, let's get in there for everyone who missed the beginning. I'm not mad at him. But here it is again. So they're doing like a little bit of a. It's a real kiss. And you know what? Good for them, man. But it, it's not like a. Which, you know, some guys are not cool with Lewis, right? No, some guys just don't like that. They're like, don't kiss me, bro. Uh, Will Smith got kissed by a stranger on the red carpet and decked the guy who did it. Decked him. Good for <laughs> like, him. Boom. Way before Chris Rock. We should find that clip before we wrap up. But uh, this was a, not just a, this was a, mm, and it's, I guess it was that, mm, like the, the settle in, you know what I mean? The settle in was real love. And I, look, I, I don't think it means they're gay or there's a problem, but it just shows Bieber is a uh, loving guy to his bros, to his girls, or is this sign of something else? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it was, a, it was, yeah, someone just said it was an intimate peck. It was definitely a little bit more intimate than I would do with my friends. Lewis, I love you. I would maybe as a big show and kiss your bald head, etc. cetera. I, I wouldn't be a, afraid to do it to you i probably would just to be lovey because i love you but this didn't feel like a funny like oh like a lot you know this was like oh, hey bro what's up and i don't know if i would have that to my friends so what is your reaction to this i mean again no hate right there's no hate to it a little bit of surprise and uh, i'm curious what you think lewis tell us what you think this doesn't look like anything it's just Two guys that probably grew up together in the entertainment industry, right? Uh, it doesn't look like anything. I mean, to freak out over this, uh, you know, someone's battling their inner demons, maybe, you know, maybe like, I don't know. This looks like, I mean, were they hanging out later, holding hands or anything? It's like, I know we'd love I mean, to get into popular people's business, but that, that's there's a, there's like, a, dude. there's a grind going on. Yeah. It's a grind. Like, it's a surprise. This, who's grinding me? Oh, my God. It's it's uh, Will Smith's son. You know what I mean? It's like, that's all it is. All right, so, Lewis, you're cool with me. When I see you next, I can give you a kiss like that? F no. <laughs> what, then what, what, you hypocrite? Oh, no, it's no big can. deal. It's just bros hanging out. Bro, but it's obviously meant to. Well, no, you can, but if it repeats itself over and over again, you know, I'm, I'm going to bring some scissors next time. <laughs> uh, no this is fun if it keeps going then it's like yeah if you come i think then it's you, like get a room me, <laughs> i think you actually have tried to grind my cuban butt once uh, uh yeah i, I may think of it no 
No, I don't Maybe. remember. Maybe that was someone else. I don't know, but but uh, um, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I've had friends come up behind me and pretend they're dancing and stuff like that. It's just a little bro joke uh, and stuff. Um, Look, you're 100 percent right. There's it's it's two bros. Who cares? I don't yeah. I don't care. But I am a little. It's it's a. It shows a uh, well either a level of intimacy that he's comfortable with 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 his peers, right? Is what it shows. Or it implies, you know, that these two are maybe tighter than we expected, which, again, is their life, their business, not mine. If you go back to their career, as I was going to play here, like, they were both kids in this industry. They both did a song together, actually. Uh, there was a clip that's coming. They sung together. There it is. There's the two kids back in the heyday, Jaden and Justin, singing together. So they grew up in this industry. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Look, I I got my own issues with Jaden Smith. Like, this kid has some weird parents, man. <laughs> and it shows. It shows. The level of nepotism, the level of just, like, freedom to psychedelics, all of that stuff. Money, power, weird parents who are very free, I will say. I guess I'll say it that way. Jay, I, I, it's, I'm not surprised Jaden sometimes is a little bit out there with his stuff. Uh, but seems to have his, he's, you know, put together anyway, him and him and Justin clearly tight. What do you guys think in the chat? Is this, a is this worth even pointing out? Does it matter? Uh, anything I'm missing, uh, final thoughts on this before I head over to JLo Lewis. Listen, uh, this guy, they made a million dollars for each other. Of course they're going to kiss each other, man. I'm sure, you know, they made that song. They made that do whatever. They made each other some money back in the day at the very least. It's like, oh my God, there's Beaver. He made, you know, I made have at least 500 grand when I did that, that track or whatever, and vice versa. You know, it's a little peck. What's up, bro? We haven't seen each other in a long time. And even if it is more than that, yeah, it's who cares type of thing. So yeah, I mean, the only I, again, I'm going in a conspiracy. The only thing I like, and again, I'm not trying to criticize. I run a pop culture show. This is my job to just sort of give feedback thoughts reactions like Bieber was clearly sexualized and introduced to it in a very early age I suspect in this business Lewis yeah women everybody throwing themselves at him he's out hanging out with Diddy like let's go get girls at 15 like this dude was exposed and to a sexual life he's now married trying to be in a relationship you know a religious relationship etc the only thing I'm sort of thinking, does this imply a more intimate relationship that he's had with some of these, you know, Hollywood individuals? Maybe, maybe. And again, doesn't make that wrong, but it's interesting because, you know, you see it here and you're like, I don't know, or is this just completely platonic? Can you have a kiss like that and be completely, you know, two guys kiss like that and still be platonic? Chad, I'm asking you all now. What do you think? Uh, as we pivot over to something the internet really also doesn't like, more so than them kissing, is uh, J-Lo. <laughs> My goodness, Lewis. They hate J-Lo. It oh. all started with this, uh, if, if I recall, like this new whole documentary she made, This Is Me Now, which is bombing from a ticket sales. But it was this TikTok she released that made everybody like go nuclear. Out like this. It reminds me like when I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block. That crazy little girl who used to be wild and no limits, all dreams and I like taking my hair out like this. No limits. Anyway, people lost their effing mind on this. Laughing, bashing. No picture. The teachers out. We'd have a big celebrity like went to the same. Oh, well, I'm gonna person who comes from the Bronx and went to the same high school as J Lo. I'm gonna tell you what the huge red flag is. So not only did we come from the same neighborhood, we also went to the same all girls Catholic high school. Yep, uniform and all. And you would think a big celebrity like that coming from our neighborhood, we'd be so proud. We'd have a picture in the hallway. The teachers would talk nice about her. It was the fucking opposite. No picture. The teachers all said she was a spoiled brat. So saying you're J-Lo from the block, number one, you did nothing for our neighborhood. You did nothing for our high school. And that's fine. Like, you want to be hot shit? That's cool. No problem. But don't say that you come from the block and talk about like you were some kind of gangster running around. Meanwhile, you had your Catholic girl uniform on and probably went to Tommy's Pizza and got a slice of soda. 
She's trying to make people from outside the neighborhood think that she's like some type of tough shit or something. And that's fine. You could be whoever you want to be. You're rich. Congratulations. But don't do the rags to riches story. It's not going to work when people from the same neighborhood were going to call you out on your bullshit. So anyway, there, there are a lot of these. Uh, there's a lot of these clips. I think. Uh, yeah, being from the Bronx, oh, uh, he sent me another one. I'll, I'll watch this as we get live. Everybody reacting to him from the block. So they people just started getting pissed at her because they're like, you're not from the block. We didn't like you in the block. You're not actually helping the block. Give some money to the block instead of constantly use it for your own advantage to make yourself seem relatable. Right, he Lewis? That's rude. where things are going. But then more yep. and more people came about about how rude of a celebrity yeah. she is. Jennifer. When a celebrity was rude to you. Jennifer Lowe. Same, and I'm gonna try to tell them really quickly two stories about Jennifer Lopez being an awful human being. So number one, when she has drivers, the number one rule she has for them is they can't look at her, they can't talk to her, and her luggage is never allowed to touch the ground. If any of those things happen, she will go out of her way to make sure you get fired. Even if you have to look in the rear view mirror while you're driving, she will call that you trying to look at her and proceed to berate you. And I know this because my dad worked for that driving company and he refused to drive her whenever she came in town because of how awful she treated the drivers. Second story, she was with Ben, I believe at MGM or whichever casino, and Ben's a great tipper and he respects service workers. And so he tipped a lot of people a lot of money that night. Jennifer goes around to each of those people and takes back the tip and gives them maybe five, 10 bucks, no. maybe. She is an awful person. Do you buy that? You can't take the that tip. Five, I, who is this ten. woman? I, just because she does a TikTok. Do you believe this, Lewis? Why are people hating on J-Lo so much? The second part, I don't believe. Uh, but I think there's some truth mixed up with the reality. Uh, I did hear stories about that you can't look at her in the eye and this and that back in the 90s. And now they're com the same story is coming back. Uh, remember, I used to work at Power 106, so we were... We were doing um, her music and working with the industry insider. So, so we'd hear that. And then, uh, you know, I, and I, look, man, we've met how many people in this chat have met people that act like this? Like they, they came from garbage and then they make it a little big and then they become all, you know, they have this story from rags to riches and you know, they're full of crap and they're elitist. And you just hate them. How many people know people like this? We all know a J-Lo. That's why this story right now, Andy, there's over 4,000 people watching because we all know a J-Lo. And now yeah. that the internet is turning on her, uh, we, we kind of feel a little bit <laughs> like that's the person we knew in high school that was the popular kid that was an a-hole like that. Yeah, I, 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 there's another J-Lo out there. It's just starting to really brew, but it's happening. And it's Angelina Jolie. Okay. Angela Jolie is a psychopath, and we're going to talk about it on this live. I'm going to get there. There's so much more to talk about. I'm not done, but I just I wanted to keep teasing that because I got a lot of thoughts. And I'm getting a lot of hate because that video I did with Christopher Melcher, if you guys missed my video with Christopher Melcher, it actually did really well in the long term. People were tuning in to hear him because I've, I, I, Christopher Melcher, one of the nicest guys you've met him, Lewis, such yeah. a pro, so nice as, as lawyers go, actually wants to do good things. And he messages me like, oh, I really want to complain about uh, uh, <laughs> Angelina. I'm so mad what she's doing. She's terrorizing Brad Pitt. I was like, all right, let's go. And I just let him unleash. And uh, it's crazy. But yes, there's a, there are these, these people out there that are just eternal victims, always just sort of phony and fake. And J-Lo, I get it. Everyone knows one of them like it. J-Lo is in the, in the crosshairs right now because she's feeling it. People are like, can relate to like, oh, F you. We're all suffering right now. We're dealing with an election season, all this nonsense. We don't have enough. We're not getting paid enough. We're getting fired, whatever. And JLo's out there trying to look like I'm this. I'm my hair out like this. It reminds me like when I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block. Like crazy. Crazy little, little girl. girl. Oh, she's just, she used to be a crazy little girl. It is so embarrassing. I can't believe this is because there's a camera in front of her and she's just like performing in this weird, relatable character. I've never really had an issue with JLo. I don't, I don't hate JLo. I don't, but I just, I'm starting to really not like her is what this trend is doing. It's not helping her at all. It's not helping her sell tickets. She's in trouble.
Well, there's our live show. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you missed the full show, Lewis and I ranted about a lot of stuff. Oh my God, it was fun. You're not going to miss it. Uh, we talked about Angelina Jolie. We talked about that Hollywood reporter I hate. Uh, and so much more. JLo, so much JLo bashing. Become a member over on our Patreon if you haven't already. Uh, you'll be able to watch the full streams. We always trim them down. So thanks to everybody who caught it. We'll be back again live on Thursday. Right now, we're heading over to Nerd Report. Make sure you subscribe both here and there. Hit the button for all alerts. Smash the like button. Leave your comments and stay tuned for more Diddy and other pop culture news here on Popcorn Planet. Thanks for watching, everybody.